What's up? What's up? What's up, ladies and gentlemen of the jury? What's up, people? Well, I guess y'all heard that Kathy Lee girlfriend has came out and said she was kissed by Bill Cosby. And I say, hold up. Wait a minute. Let me put my Wookiee in it. You telling me you come out and said Bill Cosby kissed you? No, he tried to kiss you. Let me let me phrase it. Try to kiss you. And I thought, hold on, hold on. How you gonna put your two cents in this fight? Not fight, but put your two cents in this bullshit by saying that by saying Bill Cosby tried to kiss you. Like I don't, I don't get it. Some, some, some ain't right. You got this dumb bitch. I'm gonna call her a bitch because she couldn't. She didn't know she got raped or drugged. The bitch was retarded. Now you know Beverly Johnson went on the media saying, "Oh, I was, I was raped," and then she turns around and said, "No, I was drugged." She couldn't get her facts straight. When she went on The View a couple of days ago, Whoopi grilled her ass, and the girl couldn't, this bitch couldn't figure out if she was right or drugged. She couldn't. She couldn't even get her answer straight. And y'all sit up here, sit up on this damn earth, and trying to stay, and, and look at, this man as a rapist and I'm sitting up there like are you kidding me you telling me that you're gonna believe some Billy Jack bullshit I said I, I, I don't believe it because one thing is the reason why I don't believe it is that this is the reason why I don't believe it it's because when I sat here and and was hearing his stories, I was like, man, this shit don't make sense. And then you get, I, I, I just didn't get it. I just didn't get it. And then, what put the icing on the cake, put the icing on the cake, what well, is them bitch? She actually told the American people, hey, I took so much drugs, I couldn't remember the 80s. I couldn't remember the 80s. I couldn't remember the 80s. You told so many people you were so jacked up on drugs, you couldn't remember the 80s. If you couldn't remember the 80s, how can you remember a rape? How could you remember being raped? by this man how could you be remember being right by this man if you were so hopped up on drugs and if you see the interview when she was on grace uh was it nancy grace she was shitty she couldn't get her shit together you got one dumb model former model with wrinkles and all this shit with a fucking drug problem and an alcohol problem could have get a fact straight or a story straight to say she got raped and then you get another bitch couldn't tell if she was raped or drugged then you get this dumb ass woman sitting up there saying oh he tried to kiss me look it's like this it's like this these women said they got raped they didn't sit there and say they got kissed or tried to be kissed they said they got raped now I'm not saying I believe these women but how can you sit there and say oh he tried to kiss me that is not rape that is not right that's somebody tried to kiss you <clears throat> that's somebody tried to kiss you and I didn't understand this whatsoever I, I didn't get it this man is going through hell going through so much hell and the reason why I'm looking saying all this shit is because one thing one thing that sets out from this shit is this. Everybody is looking at Bill Cosby as the suspect. And y'all should be looking at this shit looking at this picture bigger than that. Because man, if you take one side of stories, man, that's it, that's a bunch of hearsay. And I've been saying that. It's a bunch of hearsay. 
And I know that for a fact, man. You can't sit there and run to the media and say, hey, I was raped by this guy. And there's no nothing to back up that claim. There's nothing to back up that claim. So when you tell somebody, I was raped by this person, where is the evidence to show that claim? Where is it? And didn't John Travolta go through the same thing too? All these men coming out, oh, he tried to rape me. He tried to rape me. See? Big name. And people trying to get his money. They do the same thing to John Travolta as they're doing to, to do the same thing to Michael Jackson, Tiger Woods, John Travolta, and Bill Cosby. And y'all sitting up there, oh, we, he, he guilty, he guilty. How can he be guilty if nobody ever checked these women's backgrounds, their stories? I would have. I actually said in a couple of the videos when this story breaks out that there was a girl that worked on the show I Spy with Bill Cosby. She said she got raped. She didn't tell nobody, but she quit acting, got into law, became a lawyer, got in some shit, and got in trouble and lost her license to practice law. And nobody looked at that as something ain't right. How come I know that several of the women was prostitutes or they had a drug addiction? And y'all still sit up here. He, Bill Carver guilty. Bill Carver guilty. Oh, oh, he guilty. He guilty. All these women. Now think about it. You get 21 women. 21 women coming out and say, oh, he raped me. And there is no, no police report to back this up there is nothing to say there's nobody coming out saying oh yeah I saw it happen well one thing why would anybody say oh I saw him trying to rape this girl no there's nothing to back up these women's claim they really didn't check out these women see what like cause one thing is what do they do every time they check a suspect they check their past history they check what they did over the several years before this incident happened. They never did that. They looked at Bill Conrad like such of a damn suspect because of cause what these women said. Because what these women said. They looked at him so bad because these women said they got raped. Didn't question. Didn't qu they looked at him as, as, as a suspect. Didn't question these other women to see what happened in the past? Do that of a police record? To have they did drugs? Did they do rehab? Nothing. Did, do that? Do that? Are they compulsive liars? Anything to prove they have a problem, or or to see if they're trying to extort money from him? No, they did not. They quit to jump the gun. People judging, judging this man, judging this man based on few uh, 21 women now the question is this because I've always had people sitting up here saying he's guilty he's guilty oh what if he raped Mrs. Obama now and today's society is getting kind of hard to believe these kind of things because you never know who's lying like there's been several people that lied. There was a woman who lied about a loved one being killed in 9-11, find out she was scamming people, or how several of the parents lied in court, said their child was molested by Michael Jackson. It's getting hard to believe that. These people, these women getting raped by, by this man. So that's why I'm questioning these women because it's hard to believe this when you run to the media first then run to the police then run to the hospital to get a rape kit done it's hard to believe that we run to the media first and I would have thought that intelligence well I can't I going to talk down to people but I would have thought that there would have been some people that set up, set up here and looked at that and said you know what he's got a point 
how come they ran to the media first before they run to the police? You can't run to the media and say you got right, then run to the police and tell them you got right, then run to the hospital and you got right because it's not it's you're showing hearsay. And it and it still leaves that question. It takes it takes twenty one women to take down one man, but how come in my city it took one girl to take down four football players or, or it just made me question for it there was a girl that got raped out in this college by four football players and it took one girl to tell the police she was raped and they all got arrested and plus a few more got arrested for tampering with evidence so that would be like what seven me seven players getting in trouble it took one girl to do that she didn't run to the media first she ran to the police first but you still got to look at it she had a rape kit done she had a police report she had something to back up her claim that's what a woman would have did but some rape victims they, they're scared to say something because they what the hell been through and I can understand it and it's hard for a rape victim to come even forward because when you hear stories like this, they think, okay, I'm going to be brave and I come tell the police what happened. And then they find out these women are lying. Then they go back and they little, go back into their home hiding because they find out these women they makes these false accusations. They get money. It's a liar. And, and y'all sitting up here believing the bullshit that they tell you. I don't believe it. I'm never going to believe it. Because they ran to the media first before they ran to the police. I would never believe it. And well, tell me what you think down in the comment section. I'm Afro Joe Boot. I'm Afro Joe the Wookie. Follow me on Twitter at Afro Joe the Wookie. Follow me on Tumblr. Subscribe to my channel, Silo Junior 2, Silo Junior 3. And I was still trying to do mailbag videos. I just need some letters sent in. Just send some letters in, snail mail, and I'll do these videos for you. Now, this has been Afro Joe. Tell Nugget TA is peace.